for any other thing. Okay, so I decided I'm going to uh, just go through more game things. When you go through more game things, I'm going to show you what they look like. Yep. So, first I show you Little Tanks. And then, when a, a new patch came out for World of Warships, you're like, wait, World of Warships? The reason I couldn't play World of Warships was I'd play and die. You know, a lot of times I would die without ever even seeing an enemy. Literally, I am not joking. I was, or, or, I would spawn in and over three minutes of the game would have gone by before I could control my ship. I mean, before I could even see the ship. Uh, excuse me. Over three minutes of the game would have gone by before I even see the ship. And another minute goes by before I even can control the ship.
Like two cruisers and a battleship going towards the seaport. I have a single anti aircraft gun. Ten. That's tier three. I can kill him. Over there, that's tier four. That's tier four. What? Yeah, that's tier four. I've been detected by aircraft. St. Louis still has it. It's just I was outnumbered like four to one. I took an aerial drop torpedo, which took off a third of my health at the beginning. However, it is um, something. Yeah, 
eight 7.6 millimeter Hotchkiss guns. That's nothing. You might as well shoot with spitballs. Um, yes. Uh, in case you're wondering what ships I am looking forward to getting, well, the Cleveland's rather good. I hear the Montana's kind of fun. I mean, not the Montana, Iowa, but the Montana's good as well. Here's the Iowa with three big guns and the big brother, Montana. Wait for it. Has four big guns! <laughs> Look at that. There's another one of those guns. And a lot more any air, I think. 94 any aircraft rating. <laughs> yeah, that's not overpowered. <laughs> and the 67 on the Iowa. I believe it has an upgrade. A guns plus 11 goes to 78. And the plus 17 goes to 84. Wow. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the Iowa. To possibly the Montana. Carriers, I don't know, maybe a Lexington class. I haven't really gone down to any of those carriers. Japanese? I'm in a Congo, and I'm in a Fuso. And you have a Yamato, which... I, see, I know the Izumo's there and all that, but where's the Yamato's bigger brother? The Yamato had a... I mean, the, uh, the Montana class is the big brother of the Iowa class. It's just a super, you know, this is called a heavy battleship. This is a super heavy battleship. It's just bigger. A co yeah, conceived as a successor of the Iowa class. There it is. Successor of the Iowa class. <laughs> the Yamato has a big brother. That was clear. Like the Montana, though it never saw production. This is the I, the Yamato. Now imagine the Yamato with this with this pushed back and another turret here. But there's only two guns in each turret. Alright? These big guns, there's only two guns. However, instead of being um, 460 millimeters, which is 18 inch, 18 inch guns, increase them to 20 inch guns, that's right, 20 inch guns, there are 8 of them, instead of 9, and they're in 4 turrets, but they're 20 inch guns, <laughs> that would be something, but yeah, I want a Congo, absolutely, a Cleveland would be fun, an Iowa, Japanese cruisers, really. I mean, I don't see the uh, Tone class cruiser. If I could see a Tone, okay. Well, I hear the uh, Aoba's not bad. I don't know. As for carriers, I don't know the carriers too much. Well, I do, but. Well, that's weird, but okay. Uh, but yeah, Japanese cruisers, I don't know. Well, I've got the Italian to get that. Uh, Kubuki. Might be nice. Minikaze, those are fun. Uh, I definitely want a Fletcher, because yeah. <laughs> the Nagiri. <laughs> I think a Fletcher would be better because it has the turret snakes right on it. Oh look, you can deal with some new submarines. Yeah, right. But yes, yeah, so Border Warships on pretty high settings. 30 frames per second recording live. And uh 50 to 60 frames per second when not recording. Now for the wargaming game that is not the best. Then I'll throw in some more thunder. 